Hello everyone, and welcome to Portal 64, your gateway to downfall. I'm your host, David, and today we are reacting to Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 13. I am looking forward to this. I, <laughs> luckily, have been avoiding spoilers. It's a day after it came out. I was kind of gone all yesterday, so here I am watching it a day late. Um, <laughs> let's just get it started, because I just want to see Raven kick cinder butt. All right. Oh, also, episode link in the description down below, and also feel free to subscribe to this channel and follow me on other social media. Now let's go. Oh. Come on. Uh -oh. oh, come on. Take a... Yeah. She headbutted? Whatever it takes to shut you up. Holy smokes. Yeah, Weiss looks like she's doing okay. I just wish this would go faster. Yeah, it's probably exhausting. Too. And just be thankful you unlocked your semblance when you did. Ha! Ah! It's a semblance. Told you people. So many people were denying that his healing was a semblance. Like it's just Nora transferred. No, he was healing. No, I don't think I'm healing her. What? Our aura heals her bodies. What? It feels. Are you reversing time? I'm using my aura to amplify hers. Wait, okay, so it's a aura buff. Pierlin's told me I've got a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> Weiss. Jean? Woo! Oh dang! Come on, Ren. Ah! Uh, I've got her. Nora, smash. A heavy hit, she got impaled. That's annoying. <laughs> Good to have yeah. you guys. Glass, she's still heard, no matter what. Oh, crap. Oh. Double teaming on Oscar? No. Yeah! Oh, come on! Hey, you're amplifying her semblance. People are stupid. She's like, oh yeah. Oh dang, you saw her skeleton. Yeah. Semblance. He can block out pain. It's how he's able to handle injecting so much. Holy crap, dude. I mean, I have to say that's kind of a. A lot of people could block out pain, but I guess to have it be as a. <laughs> Just to go oh man. Come on. Yeah. Dang, son. Oh crap, there's Adam. What's going on in there? Uh but it's being kicked. <sighs> oh, is that some fire? The fire dust? No. Ruby's just standing there watching. Where's her scythe? Oh, she already put it away. Wait. What happened to Mercury and Emerald? We didn't see them get taken down, but I'm gonna assume they did. Stay focused. Our friends are almost done here. Yeah. No. <gasps> Blake! 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 Yes! Blake! Ah! Who is that? He just said Blake. Stand down! Yeah! <laughs> oh, great. He's gonna monologue. I went through so much trouble to find you, only to have you deliver yourself to me. Yeah, well, prepare to have this your butt isn't kicked. What's right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing, and we can end this peacefully. Yeah. You're wrong, Blake. She has an army with her. Stop us. No, I can't. But we can. Not by myself. Oh, or you could say that. Didn't come alone. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, they even have the white fang symbol on their shields. Dude. Uh, there he is again. That random commenter was right. He was going to be the hero of Ruby. That sarcasm. Ooh. Wait, is that? Adam, 
Oh, oh yeah, that's the ship that came. <laughs> Adam's going down like a little bee. Okay, now she's fighting Emerald again. Yeah. Emerald, time to like put down the guns and surrender yourself. What's happening? Not sure. Reinforcements. Blake being Gandalf. Better. Showing up on the third day in the fight for Helm's Deep. Much better. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah. How? How did you do this? With a lot of help. Adam, it's over. Yeah. Watch, Adam's gonna throw a temper tantrum or something. Or... It's over for all of us. Hey, wait. No, 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 no. Huh? Okay, someone someone already defused the bombs. What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? <laughs> I am making humanity pay for what they've done! We yeah, dude, he sounded like a 14-year-old teenager right there. And once we did, she disarmed them. He... Good job, Ilya. <laughs> it's not just the red wire, it's all the wires, apparently. What do we do? <laughs> this is your business, not Ooh. mine. I mean, you're gonna get arrested too, Hazel. If you get captured. I told you, Adam. It's over. <laughs> I'm so proud of Blake. Ooh. Yeah! And what is she gonna do? <laughs> if only we could see his eyes, like. <laughs> now grab that sword and cut off his arm. Arm for an arm, you know? No. Really? Really? Y you guys already know you're surrounded and now numbered. You're gonna. Okay. <laughs> oh! What? Who was that? Who was that? Oh! She's summoning the wasp? Ah! Weiss, I'm so proud of you. What's going on? Oh yeah, the, the Blake, I forgot. <laughs> What? What? Oh, wait. Oh, she's not gonna rely on her semblance. <laughs> what? What? So, yeah, you're gonna need your other arm still. Man, I wish she and Blake would have talked. But that comes for later. All right. Renal was a decoy the whole time. The last he got messed up. Must have trusted you a great deal before she died. I bet that was a yeah. mistake. Oh. oh, dang, son! Gosh. All right. Oh, this music's pretty good. <laughs> Fire animation's awesome. Oh. Aura can't protect your arm. It's oh. grim. Oh. You turned yourself into oh, a yeah, monster. Oh yeah, because grim don't power. have souls. Look who's talking. What? Look who's talking. She inherited maiden powers. That's not like I'm gonna attach a grim arm to me. Okay. Oh man. Ah, oh, this fight. Sweet goodness. Are you gonna go dual blading, huh? Okay, so it seems like Raven's blades are dust. And I'm gonna compare them to Attack on Titan and how things are done. Oh, they switch swords! Oh man! <laughs> what in the world? Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking of Bleach right now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come 
on. I don't know who I'm even cheering for. I, I think I'm Team Raven for this fight. No. 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 Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Raven? Wait, Raven? What's Raven doing? Oh. Oh! Clever girl. Of course, she's not dead. Is she Iron Manning up there again? Ah. Uh. Casey. This music's amazing. Come on. Yes! Yes! This fight is everything I've been wanting Ruby to do since Volume 3. Oh my gosh. This so reminded me of like that fight in season ten of Red vs. Blue with when they had zero grav with the warthogs and all that. Ah. This is how you do fights. Oh yet. my gosh. Shut up! If you were stronger or more clever, then maybe <laughs> you'd remember to watch your back. Oh. Oh, is it for now? Come on! Ooh. Oh my gosh! She broke- <gasps> Did you see that? Her eyes are completely shut. I mean, like, oh my gosh. You so like Zuko. What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Is she gonna shatter? Is she gonna shatter? She didn't shatter. Uh, Fernal. You fought to your last breath. Is the end gonna show up? Man. I mean, I'm quite impressed with Raven. Using her smarts like that on the go. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh. Alright. Relic retrieving time, I guess. Wow. It's a nice looking door. <laughs> it's gonna... Huh, it's folding up like wings. Or maybe I guess a flower on blood. What? It's like the TARDIS. Or just a door into another dimension. What? How did they make that vault? <gasps> Yay. Is that? What? What? It's just gonna end with that? Oh man. Ugh. I feel like these last two episodes have just been like confirming theories or like people's guesses and predictions of where the series is gonna go. Everyone's like, yeah, Blake's gonna come in to save the day, and she did. And I mean, like, obviously she said she was gonna come in, but everyone kind of questioned, like, is she gonna be in time? But she was a month behind, which meant she had like a month to like catch up and travel. Ah, uh, and Adam went out like a wuss. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, that look on his face was priceless. I just wish he wasn't wearing a mask for that, cause I bet his eyes just looked terrified, or like not really terrified, but just like in that moment he knew he messed up. Like ah, uh. and then. That moment where, like, Blake just says Yang, and then, like, Yang immediately runs away, like... Ugh. I feel a bit robbed of a moment right there, but... Ugh. I bet Yang talking to Raven's gonna make up for that, and that fight scene was amazing. Like, they used the environment, 
It was creative. It had rhythm. A good choreography. It was ah, oh, so good. And maidens are so OP. It's amazing. Ah, oh, but I don't think, I do not think that's the last of Cinder. Like, it looked like it could have been a moment of like, oh, it's the last time we see Cinder. But I highly doubt that's the last we see of Cinder. If anything, we're just gonna see her coming back with like another grim attachment or something. <laughs> But, uh, I wonder how deep that tunnel went, because I think if she was going to die, we would have heard, like, like ice shattering, and if Raven was able to break out of ice, I have no doubt Cinder would have been able to as well. Uh, Cinder, I think, is just going to come back with an even more damaged ego. I think, I mean, I'd hate to compare it to Zuko, but I think she's still not at that moment where her honor and pride is damaged enough i mean she doesn't have honor but like you know i i don't think cinder is damaged enough to take things seriously and put her ego aside because i think a lot of her flaws have to do with her ego i mean she's still toyed around with john even after toying around with pira if she didn't toy around with pira then ruby wouldn't have gotten up there at the right time to use silver eyes and damage her the way she had been and then she toyed around with Jean and Weiss and then like ran down there, which I think she was, uh, and then like how she attacked Vernal being like, aha, I got you now. And then just being so sure that she would beat Raven to just ignore that Vernal wasn't completely dead yet and all that. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts were about this episode and I will boop you next time.